Hello, this video is for you if you would like to tour the actual path that the Amherst Metro Rail extension will take north of the UB North campus. Joe Lane, president of the Audubon Community Homeowners Association, and Jim Gordon, treasurer of Citizens for Regional Transit, start at the center of the UB North campus and drive the proposed alignment all the way north to Interstate 990, where the alignment should terminate. The Audubon community is bordered roughly by Dodge Road on the north, North Forest Road on the south and west, and Millersport Highway on the east. On this map, the alignment of the proposed metro rail it starts at the University at Buffalo North Campus near the bottom and follows the blue line north to just north of Interstate 990. The Audubon Homeowners Association recently surveyed its members. The survey results indicate metro expansion north of the UB North Campus is largely opposed by the association members. For the segment of the alignment north of the UB North Campus, Citizens for Regional Transit is waiting for the Environmental Impact Statement from the NFTA and the Amherst Planning Board to issue its analysis of transit-oriented development before we come up with our final policy. Okay, it's time to begin our journey. Joe is driving, we're at the center of the UB North Campus, and we're going to head north into the J.J. Audubon Parkway and follow the alignment exactly as it is proposed in the preferred local alternative. We're going. Should we talk? <laughs> I'm Jim Gordon from Citizens for Regional Transit. Sitting next to me is Joe Lane. He's the Homeowners Association president for Walton Woods in Amherst. Joe can tell us exactly where we are. Are we in Walton Woods yet, Joe? We are still on UB campus. We are approaching what would be the proposed final stop on campus of the NFTA Metro Extension. From here, we will continue north to the final two stops, looking at the time and distance the train will take to go beyond the North Campus, all the time and distance will extend the round trip travel of each and every train or bus. You can see to the right is vacant space that's been prepared for the Metro line. How it will be integrated into a traffic circle. I guess we will find out. But right now there's a traffic circle that leads to what would be the continuing extension, which is now a pedestrian bridge. But that bridge has been prepared to hold both the tracks and trains or buses for a future system. Now, one of the concerns of the university is not having the terminus of the Metro line be on campus. Right now, we are at a space that itself could be the perfect terminus of the bus or the metro line. There's ample space here on this divided highway to hold the station and the maintenance and repair facility proposed by NFTA. If not, the train or bus would continue up John James Audubon Parkway on this very road that we are driving because the plan is to take the eastern northbound lanes of the Audubon Parkway and turn it into the transit space for the Metro extension. And I'm going to interrupt here because we are on the eastern branch uh, and it is the branch that we see on the right hand side of the video. The left hand side is southbound and that's to the west. So right now we would be, if we were the train or the bus, we would be slowing down to the Station 23, which would be the town center station. From this point, all the way up to the intersection where that car is turning, would be the station itself. And passengers would disembark and have to walk the length of the train either to behind our current position or in front of our current position to walk up to the intersection where they could turn and access the facilities in the town center. But because we are simulating a train or bus, we will continue north to what would be the final station, Station 24. 
that station will continue north here. On the right is the Walton Wood section of the Audubon Homeowners Association, which is comprised of approximately 400 individual homes, as well as senior and subsidized apartments for a total of about 1,000 residential units. Here we continue north. We're approaching Dodge Road, which would be a final intersection that would have to be prioritized for the transit system. And it would continue underneath the I-990. And it looks like they've already prepared space over to the right they've again. They've prepared to the right. And the train would now be negotiating yet another traffic circle in some manner. It will be arriving on the right side, which is currently being prepared for the final metro station, commuter parking, as well as the maintenance and repair facility. And here we reach the final stop on the proposed metro line, which took four minutes and 45 seconds.